Hey guys and welcome to Arctech. So in this video, we'll solve a question based on pointers and arrays. The question is here on the left side and in this function, we are passing the array name as argument. Okay. So here we have our integer array whose name is P and we are passing it as argument. Okay. So uh, you should know something before uh, solving such questions that in C++, the array name is a pointer to the first element of the array. Okay. So whenever we use array name, we mean we are accessing the address of the first element of the array. For example, if we have an array whose name is numbers, okay, we have this array which is having 10 elements and whose name is numbers, then numbers is a pointer pointing to numbers of zero. Okay, that is first element of the array. Therefore, the name of the array will point to first element of the array. That is this name will have the address of the first element of the array. Now, going back to question, um, here we have two functions. The first one is uh, whose name is pass and second one is main. Okay. Now inside main, we have uh, one integer function, one integer array, and then we have, we are calling the function. We are passing the argument uh, as a function name, as a array name. And uh, in the uh, receiving function, we have two arguments. The first one is uh, integer pointer and second one is integer. Okay. Now when we are passing the array name as argument, this array name that is address of the first element of the array will be stored inside this pointer. Now a pointer is a variable which always holds the address. Therefore this address that is address of 5 will be stored inside this a. Okay. Now we'll see the function we'll go main by we'll go line by line inside the main because execution starts from main. So we'll go from main. The first thing is uh, integer p. So therefore we are creating a, a array here. Now these are the values for this array. Now after execution of this line, an array will be created inside the memory. Now before solving such questions, you have to make a table in the rough side of your answer sheet. So I have made a table here and you have to made, make columns uh, equal to the number of variables present in this question. Now here we have four variables that is the first one is uh, this a. Okay, this is variable. Second variable is n. Third is this i and fourth one is this i. Now I have made one column for i's because I am going to use one only for both of them. Okay, I'll show. I'll tell you, tell you afterwards. Now here, uh, after execution, after this line, we are going to execute this line, and we are calling the function by two arguments. The first one is array name, and second one is eight. Okay. Now after this, the control will go here in the pass function, and here integer star a, that is uh, our pointer a, will have the address of this five. Okay. Now a is having the address of this. Now star a, okay, that is here. I've made. Now star a is nothing but dereferencing. Okay, so we are dereferencing the address. Here, star a will be the value present at a. Okay, now a is here and the value at here is five. Okay, so therefore our star a is equal to five. That is value at this a address. Okay. After this, we have integer n is equal to eight because we are passing eight here. So our eight n is eight here. And then we'll go to inside this function. Now inside this we have a for loop, okay? And we, there we have a integer n is equal to zero, okay? So I'll write zero inside this i column, okay? Then uh, we'll check the test condition: is i less than n, i is zero, and n is eight. Therefore, it is true. So we'll enter inside this for loop. So in, inside for loop we have a statement. Now this statement is same as this statement, okay? I hope you know this thing that um, after this, uh, this line, this thing will be executed. Okay, this is same as this thing, and then we'll execute. We'll uh, just evaluate this. Okay, so we have star a is equal to five. So I'll write uh, star a is equal to five here. Now we have five plus. Then we have i into i. i is zero, and zero into zero is zero. So we have five plus zero that is equal to five. Okay, now I'll write five here. Five is already here, so there is no change. And uh, you should know that whenever you're passing array as argument. We are passing the array as reference. Okay, so always when you are passing the array name as argument, we are passing the array as reference. Okay, so whatever changes are made inside this function will be reflected in this array. Okay, so I'll just copy this array and I'll paste it in the rough side. Okay, so this is our changed array that is modified array. Okay, so here we have uh, same thing for five. So five is same. Okay. After this, uh, we have executed this part and we are going to uh, going for the next statement that is a plus plus. Now we are incrementing the pointer because a is pointer and after incrementing the pointer, the pointer will point to the next element. 
Okay, since for a was pointing to here, after execution of this line, a will point to two here. Okay, now after this, uh, we'll go for the next iteration that is uh, i plus plus. But uh, since our a is pointing to two here, so we'll write two here inside this star a uh, column. Now we have i plus plus because i is one now. Okay. So then we'll check when then we'll check the condition is i less than n, i is uh, one and n is eight. It is true, so we'll enter inside this for loop. Here we have this statement that is equal to this statement. Okay, so we'll execute this. So we have star a is equal to two here. Then we have plus sign. Then we have i into i. Now one into one is nothing but one. So two plus one is equal to three. Okay. So our star a is equal to three now. So we'll I'll write it here also. I'll write it inside our new array that is modified array. So we'll write uh, I'll just modify two as three now because this is a new value. Then we have a plus plus that is a will point to next element. Now next element is nothing but seven. Okay, so our a is pointing to seven. So we'll write seven here. Okay. Then we have i plus plus. So i will become two now. Then we have the test condition that is i is less than n. Okay. So we have uh, i is equal to two. N is eight. It is true. So we'll enter inside this for loop. Now again this statement. So we have uh, this as now star a is seven. So we have seven plus now i is two and two into two is four. Okay, two into two that is equal to seven plus four that is eleven. Okay, so our star a is equal to eleven now. Okay, so this means that we'll just modify seven as eleven. Okay, so our new value for star a is eleven now. Then we have a plus plus that is our a will point to next element. Now next element is nine, so our star a will become nine now because value at this address is nine. Okay. Then we have i plus plus. Then I'll just increment i as three now. Okay. I'll check the condition is i less than n. I is three and n is eight. So we have three less than eight. It is true. So we'll enter inside this for loop. Here we have this thing that is same as this thing. So I'll just execute this part. That is nothing but star a, which is equal to nine plus i into i. I is three. So three into three is nothing but nine. So we have this equal to eighteen. So I'll just write 18 here, and then I will also modify this in our array. So here we have 18 for this 9. Okay. So afterwards I'll do a plus plus. That is our a will point to 4 here. Okay. So we have star a as 4. Okay. Now then we have i plus plus. So our i is 4 now, and then we have test condition. That is i is less than n. Is it true? i is 4 and n is 8. It is true. So we'll enter inside this for loop. Here we have this statement again, so we'll execute that. So we have star a as four, and four plus i into i. I into i is nothing but four into four. That is equal to sixteen plus four. That is twenty. Okay. So we have star a as twenty here. I'll write it here also, and I'll also modify it in our array. So we have uh, twenty in place of four now because new value is twenty. Okay. Then we have a plus plus. That is a will point to next element. That is nothing but three. Okay, now three a is pointing to three, so I'll write three here. After this, we have uh, that i can uh, i plus plus, so we'll just modify this as five, and then we have test condition that is i is less than n. Now i is five and n is eight, so we have true. Before we enter inside this for loop, here we have this statement that is same here. This so I'll just mod uh, evaluate this. We have star a as equal to three. So three plus i into i i is nothing but five. So 5 into 5 is 25. So we have 28 as star A. Okay. So yeah. I'll just write it here 28. And I'll just modify this here also because our new value for star A is 28 now. Okay. Then we have A plus plus that is A will point to next element that is 6 now. So our star A is equal to 6. Okay. And then we have uh, I plus plus that is I will increment to 6 now. And then we have test condition is i less than n. Yes, it is true. So we'll enter inside this for loop. Then we have this thing that is equal to same thing here. Then we'll I'll just change the value. I'll just evaluate this. Now star a is equal to six, six plus i plus i. Now i is six, and six into six is nothing but thirty-six. So six plus thirty-six that is equal to forty-two. Okay. So we have new value for star a is forty-two. I'll let it here also. That is six is now forty-two. Okay, now then we have a plus plus. Okay, that is our a will point to next element. That is nothing but the last element. That is eight. So our star a is equal to eight now. Okay, 
now we have after this we have i plus plus okay so i will become 7 now then then we'll check the condition is i less than n i is 7 n is 8 it is true so we'll enter inside this for loop now we'll execute this part that is first statement so i'll just uh, execute this we have star a as 8 8 plus i into i okay so i is 7 and 7 into 7 is 49 that is equal to 57 here okay so a new value for star a is 57 i'll just copy this thing modify this here as 57 okay then we have a plus plus okay now here our a was pointing here now a will point to the next element okay there is no element but we'll just consider we'll just uh, assume that it is pointing to next element okay then we have i plus plus i is 8 now and after this we'll check the condition is i less than n now i is 8 n is 8 and both are equal but they are not less than anyone okay therefore uh, 8 is not less than n therefore uh, we'll just stop the uh, for loop here and we'll just go back to main okay because this is executed now now inside the main we have uh, a for loop again okay now here we have i okay here we, here we have new i okay this i is for this main loop main uh, function and this i for was for the void uh, pass function okay but i'll just use this column only for this i so i'll just write zero here because the value for i here is zero okay now we have test condition is i less than eight now i is zero and zero is less than eight so we are good to go i'll just remove this okay so now we'll we will work on this array okay because this is our new modified array okay we'll not uh, use this array we'll use this new array okay now we have a for loop and after this we have the first condition as uh, the first statement as c out p of i okay now i is 0 and p of i is nothing but p of 0 that is nothing but 5 so i'll write 5 here this is our output okay so we have 5 here then we have a space okay this is a space here so i'll just give a space then we have if i modulus 4 is equal to 0 okay so we have i as equal to uh, 0 so I'll we have i is equal to 0 so we have 0 modulus 4 that is equal to nothing but 0 why because 4 into 0 is 0 and uh, there is no remainder therefore we have uh, this as 0 okay because modulus always gives us remainder and 4 into 0 is equal to 0 therefore we have no remainder here so we have this equal to 0 okay then we have this is equal to 0 okay we have got it as 0 okay therefore this is equal to 0 and 0 is equal to 0 therefore this condition is true therefore we'll enter inside this if condition that is nothing but c out e and a that is nothing but new line okay so we have new line here after this we have new line okay then we'll go for the next uh, iteration then we have i plus plus so we have i is equal to 1 now okay we'll check the condition is i less than 8 it is true 1 is less than 8 so we'll enter inside this for loop here we have c out p of i now i is 1 and p of i is nothing but p of 1 that is nothing but 3 so we'll write 3 here okay now we have this that is i modulus 4 now i is here 1 okay now 1 modulus 4 is equal to 1 why because see 4 into 0 is equal to 0 okay now um, this equal to 0 and we have remainder as 1 okay therefore we, write, therefore we use this as 1 therefore this is equal to 1 and 1 is not equal to 0 okay so this is false so we'll not enter set this if condition we'll just leave this part and we'll go for the next iteration okay so we have i plus plus which is equal to 2 now okay we'll check the condition is 2 less than 8 it is true so we'll enter inside this uh, for loop okay so we have c out p of i now see uh, i is 2 and p of 2 is nothing but 11 so we'll write 11 here now it is in the same line okay because we have not executed this part so it is uh, after the space we'll write 11 okay then we have a space here so we'll write space here okay now we have that again the if condition now here we have i modulus 4 which is nothing but 2 modulus 4 okay which is equal to uh, 2 now why because 4 into 0 is again 0 okay and then we have this as uh, the remainder as 2 we cannot take 4 into 1 okay we have for example if we take 4 into 1 that is equal to 4 and 4 is greater than 2 so we cannot take this number okay we have to take number less than this or equal to this okay now multiple of 4 which is less than this is 0 and there is no multiple of 4 equal to 2 okay 
therefore we'll use zero and the remainder as two here okay so we'll just use remain so the answer of this is nothing but two okay so is two equal to zero no it is not equal to zero so we'll not enter this c out we'll just go for the next iteration okay so we have i plus plus that is i equal to three now okay then we have uh, the test condition that is i is less than eight is three less than a eight yes it is true so we'll enter inside this for loop here we have c out p of i now p of i is nothing but p of three that is zero one two and three that is 18 okay so we'll write 18 here only after the space because this line was not executed okay then we have uh, the if condition that is i modulus 4 is equal to 0 now we have i as equal to 3 okay now 3 modulus 4 is not equal to 0 because it is equal to 3 because the remainder is 3 here and we have again used 4 into 0 okay now uh, this thing is false because 3 is not equal to uh, 0 okay so we'll enter instead we'll go for the next iteration we have i plus plus okay so we have i is equal to 4 now now we'll check the condition is 4 less than 8 it is true so we'll enter inside this for loop here we have c out p of i okay so we have i will write c out p of i here only that is uh, p of 4 that is 20 okay so we'll write, i'll write 20 here after the space okay then we have space again so i'll give space here then we have if condition this thing now i is equal to 4 okay so i'll write 4 modulus 4 now 4 1 4 uh, 4 into 1 is equal to 4 therefore we have the remainder as 0 okay so i'll write this as 0 okay so we have 4 into 1 is equal to 4 so there is no remainder here so i'll write it here so this is true okay because this is equal to 0 okay so we have c out e and dl that is nothing but the new line so after this we'll go we'll give a new line and after this we'll write all the output in the new line only so after this we'll go for the next iteration that is i plus plus so we have i is equal to 5 now we'll check the condition is i less than 8 it is true so we'll enter inside this for loop we have c out p of i now p of i is nothing but p of 5 5 and 5 p of 5 is nothing but 28 here so i'll just give 28 in the new line then we have a space and then we have the if condition that is i modulus 4 now i is equal to 5 and 5 modulus 4 is equal to 1 why because 4 into 1 is 4 and the remainder is 1 okay so i'll write this as 1 now this one is not equal to 0 okay so this condition is false so we'll just go for the next iteration so we have i plus plus now i will become 6 okay now we'll check the condition is i less than 8 it is true 6 is less than 8 so we'll enter inside this for loop we have c out p of i so we have uh, p of i as p of uh, as uh, 28 sorry as 20 as 42 okay so i'll just give 42 here after the space now then we have uh, a space okay so i'll just give a space and then we have if condition again is i modulus 4 is equal to 0 now i is 6 and 6 modulus 4 is equal to 2 why because 4 into 1 is 4 and the remainder is 2 now so this condition is false so we'll not enter this uh, for condition if condition we'll go for the next iteration so we have i plus plus that is i will become 7 now okay we'll check the condition is 7 less than 8 it is true so we'll go inside this for loop inside this we have c out p of i now p of i is p of 7 and p of 7 is 57 okay so i'll just write 57 after the space okay now i'll check the condition uh, okay i'll give a space afterwards because there is space here and i'll just check is uh, i modulus 4 is equal to 0 okay so we have i is equal to 7 and 7 modulus 4 is equal to 3 okay therefore it is not true so we'll go for the next iteration so we have i plus plus that is i is equal to 8 and here i is not less than 8 because i is equal to 8 okay and therefore we'll just uh, leave this loop and then it is over because the program is finished so in the output in the answer sheet you'll write answer as this thing only and this all thing will be in your rough sheet so yeah this is your output so the only thing here is you have to understand that uh, the array concept when we pass array as argument we are passing the pointer to the first element of the array and also you should understand the modulus concept okay the modulus always gives the remainder okay so i'll just i'll also make a video on this modulus because it is very confusing for many students so thanks for watching and let me know your doubts and queries in the comment section below